Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a princess trellis edging. I took the pattern out of this the new crochet stitch dictionary book. This is pattern number 402. And I just have my pretend blanket here. I just did the last row of single crochets and I'm going to attach my yarn to the very first stitch here and I'm going to chain one and make a single crochet into the same stitch. Next, you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to skip the next three stitches. One, two, three, and in the fourth one, you're going to make a single crochet. And then you're going to chain seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're going to skip the next three stitches. You're going to make a single crochet into the fourth one. One, two, three, into the fourth one, single crochet. So this will be your whole first row. Chain seven, skip three, into the fourth one, you're gonna make a single crochet. This pattern requires multiples of eight plus five chains. So this is something to keep in mind when you're gonna be um, adding this edge to your blanket or to your scarf or whatever it could be. You might need to add some extra stitches at the end and some extra in the beginning to make it look even. I will meet you at the end of this row. So I'm at the end of my row and it just so happens that I had a perfect number of stitches. So I have my four stitches left here. I'm going to chain seven again. Five, six, seven. I'm going to attach my yarn here and make a single crochet. You're going to chain one here. You're going to turn. You're going to make a single crochet into that same first stitch. You're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you're going to make a single crochet on top of your chain seven here of the previous row. And you're going to repeat that all around. But just remember, we chained six here, but we're going to start chaining seven after this first single crochet. So made a single crochet, now you're going to chain seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to make a single crochet right on top of this chain seven of the previous row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, make a single crochet into this next one. And you're going to repeat that until the end of the row. So I'm at the end of my row here. And once you're done with your last chain seven here, you have your single crochet, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and you're going to make double crochet into that last stitch here. Okay, you're going to make chain one, you're going to turn, into that same first stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And again, you're going to repeat that row one more time. You're going to chain seven for the first um, step here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then again, you're gonna make a single crochet on top of this chain seven of the previous row. Okay, chain seven again. Three, four, five, six, seven. And again, attach it on top of this chain seven of the previous row. And there we go. Chain seven again. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, and attach it with a single crochet on top of chain seven of previous row. And this is what it looks like. So this is your row three. And I will meet you at the end. So I'm at the end of my row and I have my chain seven and I'm just going to connect it with a single crochet in the middle of this chain seven of the previous row. Chain one, turn, make a single crochet into the same stitch. And now you're going to be working inside this chain seven space. You're going to make three single crochets, one, two, and three. And from here, you're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to make a slip stitch into your first chain one. That's your first pico. Now I want you to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Join with a slip stitch again into chain one. That's your second pico. Chain five again. Two, three, four, five. And attach it with a slip stitch into that chain one space. So that's your three pico that you made. So now I want you to work three single crochets into kind of the end of the chain seven space here. So towards the end, kind of where you have your last three chains, just kind of around it like that. So one, two, and three. So here's our pico. That's what they look like. Okay. So now into this next one, you're going to make five single crochets all inside this chain seven space. So one, two, three, four and five okay and then you're going to make your three single crochets into the next chain seven space so we're going to repeat this pattern again you're going to make your one two and three single crochets now we're going to make our three pico. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, join into the first chain. That's your first pico. One, two, three, four, five. Join it in the first chain. That's your second. One, two, three, four, five. And that's your third one gonna join and we're gonna make our three single crochets here one two and three by the way you might hear my chickens outside I think one of them just laid an egg <laughs> okay so now we're gonna repeat this pattern here and again we're gonna work into this chain seven space and you're going to make your five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. So this is what it looks like. So then you're going to, next you're going to repeat this pattern here. So in this next chain seven space, you're going to make three single crochets. You're going to make your three pico. 
I'm going to make again three single crochets and this next one I'm going to repeat this pattern here which is five single crochets and I will meet you at the end I'm at the end of my row and I just wanted to show you what to do once you reach the end of this row so I did my three single crochets I did my three pico which each of them have chain five so now we're gonna make two single crochet into the chain seven space and that last third single crochet is going to go in the that last stitch that you have here of the previous row all right and this is what it will look like and after blocking it's gonna look much neater of course but makes a very unique different kind of edging thank you so much for watching bye